Today, ladies and gents, I'm going to show you how to create a favicon in um, in Zara Web Design products. Um, so I'm using uh, Zara Designer Pro 7, which also has the, the web designer uh, abilities. But um, in any case, what uh, just in case, just to explain really quickly what a favicon is, if I were to go and look at um, the Zara users website, for example, these uh, these icons in the tab and here in the in the left-hand side of the uh, of the page address, the, the URL, um, that's where you see these favicons. That's what these these little uh, icons are. And to create one of your own for the website is quite easy in the, the latest version, the version seven of both uh, Zara Web Designer and um, and the Zara Designer Pro Seven, which has the web design capabilities. Uh, so it used to be uh, rather difficult. In the past, you would have to design your icon convert it to the icon format, and then uh, add, load it up to your, to your website and add a snippet of code in a placeholder to get it, um, the icon to display correctly. Uh, in the latest version, this is quite a bit easier. Um, there are really only two steps that you need to follow. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is select my, my drawing. And just really quickly, these are just uh, two shapes. One is a, is a, a circle with a with a linear fill, and the other one's just a letter E. And I took both of those, grabbed them together, Control Shift L, and aligned them centrally so that they're completely centered to get on top of one another. And once I have that, uh, my drawing created. See, I see here it's two objects on layer mouse off. I have both of them selected. I want to go to the Arrange menu, and then Create Bitmap Copy, or Control Shift C. All right. When I click on this, I want to make sure that I go true color and alpha because I've used a, a, a circle shape. If I were to, to take the alpha off, I would get this white area around the edges, and I don't really want that. Um, if I was to use a square, it, it wouldn't matter. I could probably just use true color, but uh, since I've used a circle, I don't want that. And I want the, the outer edges to, to, be, uh, um, to be transparent, so I'm going to leave it that way, and I click the Create button. So now I've created my bitmap copy, right? And this is just a one photo bitmap number seven on uh, the mouse off layer. And now I need to, uh, the second step after I've created that is uh, to give this a name. And the name I have to give it is Favicon, F-A-V-I-C-O-N. And once I click add and close, this will now be my Favicon. Uh, now, it doesn't matter, uh, Favicons are, are reduced in size to 16 by 16 pixels. So it doesn't matter what size I've actually created this, this will be reduced to 16 pixels. Now that I've done that, I will go ahead and get rid of my original drawing because I don't need it anymore. And I can just leave this somewhere on the page. This will disappear. It won't actually show up when I, uh, when I publish the website other than in the, uh, in the tabs where it's supposed to. And just to give something to look at on my website, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a star and have that on my on my website. So if I go now that this is done, I just want to show you the, the end result. So I'm going to hit File, uh, Export Website. I'm just going to uh, export it to my local drive here. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it named as, as index, export that. And then I'm going to go to that file location. And here's that, uh, that file. And if I right click it and say open with and choose Firefox, for example, this, uh, that web page that I just uh, um, selected will show up. And you can see there's my star. There is no circle icon here. Like I said, it uh, disappears from the page. And if I look up here in both the tab and in the uh, URL spot, there's my favicon of my circle with an E. Now, one thing that I want to warn you about is this will not show up when you, uh, um, when you export it to, um, to Internet Explorer, just because of the strange way that Internet Explorer works. Um, it won't work locally, but once you've actually published it to a website, and it's on the web, and you're viewing some, a live website from the web, it works there. Don't ask me why that is, but that's the way it works. In any case, um, I can show you one more example. Um, right click, open with, and let's take uh, Opera for example. 
offer works the exact same way. There you go. I already had a, one of those open. But there it is. There's my star. There's my uh, favicon. Works just like you expect it to. And I hope that uh, was helpful and you learned something. And I'll see you back next time.